Um, if the White House president and his team had to do it all over again, would you have gassed and pummeled protesters to clear the park so the president could have a photo op? Is on Washington, where peaceful protesters, we have to stress that, peaceful protesters outside the White House were tear gassed and pushed away so it appears that the president could have a photo op. And just yesterday, as Alex notes, we saw uh, protesters, peaceful protesters, pushed back so the President Trump could have that photo op in front of St. John's Episcopal Church. Up next, the president and his photo op. It turned out they were trying to clear the area so President Trump could get a photo opportunity outside of a church. And outrage is growing after U.S. Park and Secret Service police fire tear gas and rubber bullets into a crowd of peaceful demonstrators near the White House, clearing the way for the president's photo op. In front so while the president clutched a Bible and posed for a photo op outside a church, his Democratic opponent, Joe Biden, was inside. A church. We carried away protesters using tear, uh, cleared away protesters using tear gas and rubber bullets so that Donald Trump could walk across the street from the White House and stage a photo op in front of a church. With a the president forcefully clearing the streets by Lafayette Park, clearing the streets of peaceful protests. Where force was used, as I said the day before, to clear the president's way to St. John's Church for that photo op. Um, the president wanted this photo op and he wanted to disperse that crowd. A large crowd of peaceful protesters cleared out of the park across from the White House so the president could go pose for a photo. I did the police, why were they ordered to move on protesters at that moment? Obviously, the president wanted a photo op. And it was President Trump sending a message, a message that he feels good about today, looking at these images. He wanted to show that he could move Americans physically out of the way to do this photo op. Just one day after peaceful protesters were gassed so he could stage a photo op in front of St. John's Church. Any circumstance to violate the constitutional rights of their fellow citizens, much less to provide a bizarre photo op for the elected commander in chief.